What's up guys, the Launcher for All here, and today I'll be showing you how to use your PS3 controller onto your computer to use it as a gamepad or joystick, whatever you want. And all the things you'll need is just the controller itself, of course, and the U USB cable it came with, or really any USB cable that looks like this. A mini USB to USB cable, just like that. Let me focus on that for you. It just has to look like that. It can be any cable, it doesn't have to be the official PS3 controller cable, it could just be any cable that looks like that. So now I'm going to go to my desktop and show you guys what to do, what to download, and all that good stuff. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is go to www.motionenjoy.com, I'll post a link in the description below. Then go to downloads, and download the latest version, even if it's in the testing stage, download it. So download it to where you save your downloads, save. It's going to be in the zip file, so extract it. And inside the zip file is going to be an exe or an executable file. Open that. And it will start installing the little driver software. Next, next, next. Install. So it's installing. And don't run it just yet because this pops up. It's a little um, help guide if something's going wrong or whatnot. Just close that. Now you can delete the little exe file. So just delete it and now you'll have this little icon right here that says DS3 tool and it has a picture of a controller open the program up and then once you're here it says wait for controllers to be connected don't connect it just yet go to driver manager and then connect it connect your PS2 controller which I'm going to do right now connected it and then detected on here it should detect on the program either instantly or in a couple seconds so once it does detect click the little checkbox that's on the left now as you see it has a little check mark right here that's because my PS2 controller is already recognized on this um, program so for you it'll have an X or empty I don't remember but anyways just click the little check box that's on the left and click load driver and it's gonna say this may take a few seconds please wait a moment and it's gonna do all this stuff and it's gonna say load driver for and information about your controller completed once it's done that go to profiles and as you see it says DualShock 3 USB so that means it detects your controller in order for you to use your controller now you gotta click enable and that enables your controller to be used on whatever you want so you can use the PS2 controller for a PlayStation 1 controller PlayStation 2 controller with pressure sensitivity and all these other ones like uh, you can use it just as a PS2 controller or even a Xbox 360 controller you can emulate that or you can just make your own profile there's a lot of things you can do with this program so yeah and then down here it says LED for the people who are using Bluetooth battery information is the only useful for them if you're using it by USB like I am you don't really need this because it doesn't show you your battery information since you're plug you plugged it into the computer you can also customize which LED should pop up so let's say you want to choose which controller is first player second player and third player you know you could just do this and click enable and then the first LED will be lit up and then if you want to click on the second one and click enable the second LED will be lit up and so on you don't really have to do any of this the thing that you need to do always is click the pink enable button every time you turn off your computer you disconnect the controller or close this program you have to always click enable if you don't your controller won't work even though it's detected you have to click enable for it to work that's pretty much how you use your PS2 controller on your PC for whatever you want so that's pretty much it guys thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time later